Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to be doing another Homeworks candle declutter. I recently filmed one, I'll link it up if you're interested, but I had some duplicates that I had in my collection that I purchased from either TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And I thought, oh, maybe I'm going to really like them, so I got an extra. I'm barely getting around to burning them and I unexpectedly, or maybe not so unexpectedly, had I would say subpar performances for two or three, no, three cents. So I'm, get, I'm going to get rid of, I think, a total of four candles. Two of them are in the same scent. So I'm going to briefly go over them. Um, if you can tell, there's more room if you compare it to last time, of course. I've added some. So I think going forward, as far as homeworks, uh, just because I've had maybe about one, two, three, maybe like four or five candles that I just wasn't super wowed by the performance. I'm like, oh, let me just save that money and buy Bath & Body Works. But okay, I'm going to go over the first candle that I am going to return. Or you know what? I'll talk about, mm, okay, I'll talk about the candle performances and then I'm going to go over and show you the items. But essentially, the ones I show are going to be the same scents that are in the bag. So I keep all my receipts. Strangely enough, I have receipts going back to like 2019. So I have everything. It's past the 30 days. So that means I'm going to get a merchant card with the price that I paid. I just need to spend it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. So it's store credit. Um, that's fine because I tend to shop there for other items. And this way I can find maybe another scent or potentially another homeworks candle that I want. But I'm going to stop rambling and go over to the first fragrance. Okay, so this very cluttered area is where I keep all the candles that I'm currently testing out and or candles that I want to burn or focus on. And if you can tell, the first one that I am burning or returning is this very trifle. Not this one, because what I do is if I get duplicates, I test out the one that is the cheapest. Okay, so the problem with this one is that I love this scent. If this candle could give me more strength, like even just a little bit, I'd be okay. So I bought maybe about four total of these. I bought them at like $12.99, 10 when they reduced it, and then I have another one at eight. So I've already burned this about, it's like right around here. So what is that? Maybe like 40%? And yeah, I was getting hardly any scent, which is weird because when I smell it, it smells divine. And yet somehow that doesn't translate, it, translate while I'm burning. So that's unfortunate. So I'm going to keep this one, of course, because I'm not returning it. I know you can maybe like talk to the right associate and said it's defective or I can't smell it, but I'm, I don't want to do that. I'm going to keep the other $8 one because I have another one that I purchased for $8. I'm going to keep that one, but I'm going to return the others that I did not get for $8. So there's that. Okay, the other candle that I am going to return this one I was a little bit unsure about, but it is Kiwi Margarita. I got this one at $13. Um, so the issue with this one is that out of all the ones I'm returning, this is the one I could smell the most, but I don't know if it's something that I need a backup of. This is kind of like a one and done, but it does smell pretty strong on cold, which I think that's weird. It's like deceiving that like DW candles, you smell them on cold and you're like, wow, this is going to perform so well. And then you actually get around to burning them and then you can't really smell anything. So Kiwi Margarita, I would say that is about, let's see, maybe like a 5 out of 10. Um, this one, very trifle, I would give it like a 3, which is unfortunate. Um, let's see. Um, this is a Yankee can I'm testing. You know, I started this Scentworks brand. It started growing on me the more I burned it, which... I went back to Ross to see, oh, what other scents do they have? And apparently everybody <laughs> caught on, so that was a great deal. I got this one for $6.49, but going back to my candles. Okay, so I tested that out. And then the other one that I'm going to return is over here. Okay, and that is the Homeworks, ooh, I got so close, Pineapple Mousse. I love this one on cold as well. Yeah, it's just, it doesn't translate while burning. So I got this one and I have another one that I backed up that I decided not to keep. If you don't get a smell from pineapple mousse, it could be just that it's a batch, batch issue. I don't know, but honestly, this Milk House Candle uh, Company, Pineapple Paradise, this is a, I believe, a Home Goods, TG Maxx, Marshalls exclusive scent because of the label. This 
is virtually the same thing as that homeworks one. So when I burn the homeworks candle, I'm going to burn it simultaneously with the milk house candle just to amp it up a little bit. So let me head over to where I keep, oh, actually it's right here. Let me scooch on down and show you the candles. Okay, another slightly not that great angle, but in my Hello Kitty reusable bag, this one's pretty like stiff and sturdy. So I feel comfortable enough to put candles there. Um, I am making returns at both TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So I have already double checked my receipts and they all coincide with the correct item number. If you ever want to do a return, um, okay. So for this one here is very trifle. Another way to double check on your receipt, the, okay. It should say seasonal items for homework candles. It might not always be the case, but for example, this one, it says seasonal decor. And then it has a number price. So initially, I always thought it was this number right here, the ending, or like two nine, and like the numbers before. But it's actually right before the zero zero zero. So this one, it's gonna be nine three three, and then you just check that with your receipt. So unfortunately, this berry trifle didn't work out. I love how it smells on cold though. So I would recommend this if you want to warm it, but I honestly don't need another berry trifle that I know won't perform well. Um, let me show you my batch number in case you want to stay away from certain batch numbers. This one says uh, 221208. So it was poured December 8, 2022. Okay, and then the other one that I'm going to return is the pineapple mousse. Once again, this one is unburnt. All of these are unburnt. I even found a dust cover that I wanted to include. Since they're going to be put back into the store, if they want to gift it, you know, it's good to have all of the, all the intended packaging, plastic parts and whatnot. This one, I got it for $16.99. Let's less my friends, 20% off discount. Um, so that would have been good if I would have had a good performance with it. This one, it was for February 9th, 2023. So if you can see, there's not really like a set rhyme or reason this one to the right is 2022 and this one over here is 2023. So it's not even like you can stay away from certain pour dates. And then Kiwi Margarita, this one honestly wasn't that bad. $16.99, I just feel like I don't necessarily need this candle. I have a lot where I can, you know, opt to burn other ones that I will enjoy a lot more. The batch number for this one is October 8th, 2022. And then final candle. We have another berry trifle, sadly. I bought so many of these because it just smells heavenly on cold. I have one of these in a four wick that I got at the Hallmark Stop Shop website, but I don't think I can return it. Or if I do, I have to pay return shipping or it's just a hassle. So I'm going to keep that one to burn. This one, heck, I go to TJ Maxx Marshall so often, I don't mind going and returning this. And this is when I got it for $12.99. So you can tell the scents that I really liked and I wanted to try out, I purchased them at regular price. And again, it has the pour date of December 8th, 2022. So yeah, I'm gonna be returning those four candles, which I guess it's good. I can focus on other things that I want to burn a little bit more. And yeah, I guess I'm going to have more money to spend at TJ Maxx Marshalls. That is it for this declutter. Hopefully I don't spend the merchandise credit on some more candles, but who knows. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and hope you have a great day. Okay, bye.